Yeah, you but know, that, that's, that's the that thing of it. But that again, doesn't take in. No, no, but again, that doesn't take that in the size of the elderly project. Okay, there may be an elderly project that you know might have six units or eight units all the way up. So you can't penalize them. Okay, um, you know, it may work for a larger unit. Okay, so you know, taking in the size. So that's why I'm saying I think to keep it simple. You know, we just make it one space per unit, 55 for any project, it has to be 80%, uh, 55 <coughs> and over. I, well, I'd, I'd still go with the 1.25 and have that include your guest parking, then it's done. Well, because most of these projects wind up coming back with their hat in their hand and saying, well, you you know, I'd be happy to build the project, but you got to give me $100,000, you got to give me free land, you got to give me tax-free bonding, yada, 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 yada. And the next well, thing you know, they have no no skin in the game. So then, <coughs> why, why don't simple, you... A simple solution, if we go to 1.25, then we say five, of which 5% of that is is uh, mandate, uh, mandated for guest parking. Yeah, but that doesn't take in the smaller units. You have 5% for a four-unit building or a six-unit building. That's what I'm saying. I, I think, you know, maybe we're oh, over Who's yeah. yeah. bringing six-unit buildings here? I, mean, huh? I, I don't know that we're running into people Size. trying to develop senior housing right. for a duplex. No. Oh, no, but no, there's, no, no, I, no. I know for a fact that there's four- and six-unit buildings that are designated elderly housing. Yes, but we're talking redevelopment in the future going forward. Well, that doesn't mean that they're not going to develop, develop six or four or six or eight-unit elderly housing. Uh, it's highly unlikely the cost of construction is such that they have to build more units. Well, at 1.25, if you think about, remember what I told you, is it, is a parking space is generally at 12,000. Yeah. So Just if I may, can, I, can we do something well, here? Can, can we separate the two conversations into the age yeah. and the requirement, yeah, and then we'll come up yeah. with a number? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't well, because we need, to, we need to come someplace around the definition, or the number doesn't make any difference anyway. <coughs> 20, 55 is fine with me. Minimum, Anybody ma else? minimum age yeah, 55. 55. Yeah. And I, I would do that 5% or 10%, say 10% for guest parking, something like that. Just, re uh, just, well, just, just remember now. Be clear, Miami and Miami Beach, two cities that have a lot of high multifamily building, are both 10% guest parking. 10%. 10%. Then let's do it. Let's go with 10%. Um, yeah, but let's back up, though, first. We, we need, to, need to step back just a moment. At your next meeting, we're bringing forward definitions, mm -hmm. and the definition for elderly that staff is proffering is 55, housing for 55 and older. So that becomes a separate issue, Bob. Maybe yeah. so that's a separate future. thing to come before. If you know that that's what we're proffering, you have a right to say, no, I don't agree with that at your next meeting, but knowing that this is that this is coming before you as a definition, mm -hmm. as a separate issue, right. um, you can then, right. but you still can make this elderly parking, say, all residents have to be 55 and older. Yes, point. Yes, I think it's better to leave it for right. the next meeting because we can have time to prepare, do some research, and then okay, we so and how it'll about be if addressed. We just, how do we just line. say um, uh, one parking space um, per unit? Um, for all residents at um, 55 and over. Okay. Or <coughs> I, I still think we're going to be wind up shorting ourselves in the parking. I agree with Kevin. And you know. unless we put in, for certainly unless we put in, because this is not an L. This is this is a regular. Well, you can there add needs guest to be parking guest as parking. a separate issue. There and needs to be guest parking, guest parking at 10% Yeah, and then add 10%. So do 10% for guest parking. Yeah, one, 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 no plus one 10 per unit, 10% per unit, for guest. and 10% for guests. There you go. That's a better idea. Yeah, that works, right? I think so. Okay. All right. I'm, I right move that. Right now, that's more than your multifamily requires. Oh, man. So more than what? It's yeah. more than, well, that's more that's than your multifamily. Well, what is, what is that's the whole problem. Yeah. Well, parking, we Debbie, don't require yeah. enough Debbie, then what, tell, tell, us what the re the tell us what the percentage is for, what is it, 10%, 5% right. for right guest parking? Right now, so multifamily is 5%. Okay. I'm not saying that that shouldn't be revisited, mm -hmm. but to be consistent with what your code is, you may want to think about whether or not you change it now or you ch to up that or you assign it a special consideration on, on its own, 
knowing that it is not going to have the same demand as your typical multifamily will anyway. So, well, what do then you if that do? well, if, if, that, if, if that's what if, if that can, is what is existing right. now, it, it, it isn't. and that's that's the other point. You can't it, go back and change multifamily. This one right here, you're only you've got one point. The 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 ordinance was advertised as this parking ratio. So you can only amend this parking ratio tonight. So, so the, the average, correct. the adding the 55 and older, mm -hmm. the adding the guest parking, <coughs> anything that's related to mm. this so 0 0.5 to 1 change, you can you can amend. Okay, so zero zero. So we can go zero. The motion would be then to move from 0 0.5 to one parking space per unit for any designated elderly housing project with 5% guest parking, since that's the norm in the city right now. I don't, can we add the 5%? I don't, I don't well, think we can. I, this yeah. We can? You can because we you, can. you just yeah. focus right here on okay. this right. one line. Okay, okay. okay. That's, that's agreeable. That's that's correct, okay. correct. <laughs> and then we can still address. Right. I, I, submit right that, I submit that as a motion then. Okay, I'll All second right. that motion. Okay. All right, so we've got a motion then made by my, Mike McDermott, seconded by Jason James. Is there any further council discussion? I'd just like to uh, I'd just like to clean the language. I mean, I think there's I think it's we because this is going to be in the section where it says parking. This is and how many spaces schedule. are available for each, right? Mm -hmm. And so it currently says 0. 0.5. That's pretty much what it says. Mm -hmm. That's right. Per so dwelling we, unit. So we'd like to change it to 1.0. One. No, one. Actually, it will yeah, say 1. just 1. And 10% guest parking. Well, we, the five motion is 5%. 5%. Five 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 the motion is 5%. Five 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 That's why we're discussing. Yeah. <laughs> Bob's saying 5, the motion was. Provided Bob's saying ten, the all residents five. are a minimum of 55 years old. There you yeah. go. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's it. Well, that's not how he said it. He said that's for, not always for projects that are qualified elderly motion. housing or something like that. Right. Right. Well, I, I and then we were going to define. I'll, I'll take the friendly housing. amendment. Okay. <laughs> to, just to move the motion. Okay. Friendly uh, amendment B. So that I'm being ten percent guests instead of no, five percent. No, five. No, <coughs> five percent. You want to go to five? Five percent. Yeah, okay. 5%. I, I think okay. We're, we're just giving away great okay. Okay, down the road. Still not. Okay clarifying your motion because the motion should be this is different than okay. the well, the your motion. To yes. clarify the, mo the motion is that we go from 0 0.5 to one point to one parking space per unit for those projects dedicated plus, huh? plus 5% guest parking plus 5% guest parking for those projects designated <coughs> as elderly housing there is no designation of elderly housing. It's already housing in the right. category that says category. elderly housing. Provided all residents so all are a minimum of 55 <laughs> years old. Okay. Provided all residents are a minimum of 55 years old. There you go. Okay. All residents yeah, are yeah, 55 and over. Why, we, why can't okay. we just there leave the Yeah, I don't understand. why. Month. If we're doing definitions next month, I don't know why we're adding the 55 and over. It seems right. like there's we no don't need that. It's kind of redundant if you all accept the definition of elderly parking. Because all we're touching right now is parking. Right, right not 55 and old, not the age. No, it's elderly parking. Elderly right. housing. But that's elderly parking. Elderly, elderly parking. No, it's as elderly housing. Elderly housing. Is elderly the housing. Use, elderly elderly housing. Which we're going to address. So now you're going to define elderly housing next month. Yes. As okay, housing. so had we done that, then we could have done that. Okay. But so we so didn't do that, <laughs> so <laughs> we're All right, so I resubmit the motion. Because I couldn't get it to you. Uh, in okay, the, so uh, I, 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 I resubmit. No, but until we define elderly housing, we don't have one. Okay. So the motion right. is minus the, the designation of 55 and older. Yes. Okay? Yes. Uh, because when this comes before you, they'll, they'll match up and when it gets to council. Because mm -hmm. you'll be reading the definitions before this goes to council. So you see that we're trying to get this to flow kind of. We wanted to bring the definition to you at the same time, but we just w we couldn't okay. put that much on you because you saw the conversation you had tonight with these. Yes. Right. Just imagine if we had all the definitions to go through tonight as well. Okay. Motions on the floor. All right. We've got a motion by Mike McDermott. Do we have a second? Second. All right. Seconded by Kenny Each. Any further discussion? Here we then call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. And we still have the residual issues from Miami 21 that we may want to tack into this by next month. So you need to think about that. Okay. 
Well, right. you're, you're coming back with this definitions? Definitions, but not parking. Okay, no. can right. I, um, Mr. 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 Chairman? Yes, yeah, so we may well be addressing parking every month for the next year. Yeah, because the parking, the, the parking piece. I mean, I think yes, parking needs to be addressed, because we're we're, uh, we're Miami and Miami Beach do ten percent. Miami Beach's exception to that is if you've got fewer than twenty units. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we could take that's a look at that. Yeah, that's, that's a good that way to do. Your question, Mr. Yeah, I, I got a, Mr. Park. Chairman. I got yes. a couple of. Uh, first of all, we, we discussed one time looking at our bonuses. We talked about giving we're giving stuff away for uh, innocuous bo uh, innocuous things, right? <laughs> like you now we wanted to increase the bonuses, like for roof gardens, solar glass, landscaping, putting the pools on the roof. When we're going to uh, look at that, so re re real real stuff that's going to make a difference. Now the other thing also, I've been asking for over a year. Maybe you can, uh, Mr. Chairman. Maybe you should send uh, uh, the director of, or the city manager a uh, request. I asked to have the director of the CRA here, the economic development specialist, and the public works director, for we all can get on the same page. We're talking about the transportation overlay district. We like to find out what's going on. We should be part of that plan. Uh, the CRA, I'm on that board. There's things that we should be discussing here. And the same thing with the economic development specialist. And the other thing that I would really like to understand and I get clarity on is when we talk about only 5,000 units in the city, that, that's all we're allowed. That's supposedly that's what our capacity is. I want to hear from the public works director how the heck that works and how can a jockey club and everybody else outside the city get our, our, our consumption, but we can only do 5,000. FIU can build to the sky and everything else, but we can only do 5,000 units here. Doesn't make sense. And does that come off of our consumption? So I, I'd really like to have him here and, and, and do a couple some probative questions with him because I, I'm completely confused on that and I don't know how the rest of us are. But uh, really it, it just seems that we're stifling know. us. Um, and I'd like to know about what we're doing at the West Side Water Plant, if it's going to be reverse osmosis, where we're at in the progress of that. And I think <coughs> those are fair questions. Uh, as a planning commission, we should know what, what's going on. I, I think, Kenny, you're raising some good issues, and I will answer it this way. I, I have, I've had a discussion with our, our planning director, and I think over the next few months, we're going to have a much broader field of inquiry on a number of issues. And I look forward to going through the process. Uh, for the first time, I think there's real hope that we can bring about some very legitimate change. I, I hope so, but I mean, I'd like to have him here. Can we do I that? I think that uh, can, can, that can, can be done. Certainly do they should be allowed to come and make a report. Well, it. It, and as, as you know, um, that's a request that you as the chair and would make um, to through the city manager. Um, and Please. then he would be directing his staff. All right, Marlene, what I'll do is I'll get with you within the next week and we'll formulate a request and have you forward it on. I mean, okay. it, it's, it's like we're, th right. we're three circles and uh, yeah. none of us are talking I got to you. each other. All right, gentlemen, what is our next meeting date? October 2nd. October 2nd is the next designated planning commission meeting. And no, public hearings are over, Jessica. That, they were closed. It's over. Yes, we did. We've gone through all three of them. No, no. The planning commission currently has no permissible outlet for for general comments we, we've asked about that in the past that may be an element somewhere in the future but it right now that's only available through the city council all right we're october 2nd mark your calendars gentlemen thank you it's late and i'm starving yes we are adjourned <laughs> thank you okay <laughs>